YouTube, it's Zadox TCG here and thanks again for tuning in for our TCG battle video. Today we're going to be playing with the second place winning deck of the Sao Paulo Internationals in Brazil. That's right, Latin American Internationals uh, uh, took place last weekend and Nicolas Galas took it upon himself to take uh, Granville to the tournament and got second place. And uh, today we're going to look at the list and we're going to play a couple of rounds with it. So Granville, we already re uh, reviewed Granville in all its glory already on the channel. So all out, if our hand is empty, we dish out 160. But now, what is new to the list? We already know that McCargo puts top uh, things on top like Ultra Ball, but uh, yeah, Nicholas actually took it upon himself to just uh, get uh, the ship striker into the list as well because a lot of people are now running Alolan Muck in their list. Uh, if they are running Ditto, they are running Alolan Muck, and that is just to uh, uh, lock down the Oranguru. If you can no longer rely on Instruct, uh, Gramble pretty much falls apart, and that's where Sub Striker comes in. Not only are we discarding our hand every turn, or maybe uh, not every turn, uh, if you can just thin out your hand completely, that's not you're not gonna use this, but you can just uh, discard your hand and draw, draw four cards. Why is this good? Well, we have three copies of Dianta in here, and Dianta can get two uh, things back from the discard pile if one of our uh, fairy types got knocked out. So even if they knock out a Gramble, we can take full advantage of that and get a, a Dianta to get our resources back from the discard pile, and with Talpad, we're gonna have lots of Diantas to go around with. So even things like Guzma, we can get back with Dianta to, for, for next turn. There's also Pokemon Catcher in here, because sometimes uh, this is a card you can always play down. The opponent will always have bench Pokemon unless they're playing Sylveon, but who cares about that, right? <laughs> you can use uh, the Pokemon Catcher, drag Pokemon uh, on uh, the active position if you land the heads. And uh, what else is new in this list? There's one copy of Switch uh, together with the Tate and Liza. So we have two options to switch here uh, because we do have lots of things that can uh, get stuck in the active. Think about McCargo with a three retreat cost, the Oranguru with a true, uh, two retreat cost. So we definitely need to get out of the active. Other than that, we of course have the Apricorn Maker, which can search our deck for two uh, item cards that have the word ball in them. And that is, is of course our uh, four copies of Nas Ball, four copies of Ultra Ball, and of course, four copies of Great Bolt to get our setup. Other than that, we also have an extra copy of Fiery Flint. You cannot search Fire Energies in the deck because we don't run any, but it is uh, in here to just uh, discard. If you just have like a, a two supporters in hand, you cannot play both of them at the same time. With Fiery Flint, you can put them in a discard for then uh, Dianta to get them back. So it's gonna be very nice playing with, uh, this is actually a five, uh, fifth Ultra Ball. If you want, just want to use the uh, power of Ultra Ball to discard cards. So this is the list. Hopefully it'll go uh, well. And uh, Granble already, I tested it out in real life. Uh, it is a very, very solid deck. If you know how to play with McCargo uh, and all that good stuff, okay, it's uh, the Versus Ladder has been uh, reset here to uh, Compalion EX, brings back lots of memory memories. Of course, that's for Expanded. So we're gonna play Gramble. Other known fact is that uh, also Tord Ratcliffe played Gramble. And Tord Ratcliffe is a very well-known, skillful player in the TCG community, so Grand Bull is doing good. Even if players like that, uh, with that ca caliber of success, is, are playing Grand Bull, you might just think Grand Bull is definitely here to stay and it's a top-tier deck. What are we facing today? Uh, Lightning, Fairy, Fighting, probably gonna be some kind of spread deck, uh, I presume, with uh, the Fairy type being, of course, the Tapu Lele. One magical swap. But well, we could be wrong, we're gonna have to wait and see. Lightning always predicts, uh, for me at least, uh, that the opponent is going to be playing Flying Flip. Because uh, not a lot of people are playing Lightning at the moment. They could be playing Zero Aura, but I doubt it. So we also get a Mulligan. You don't always want a Mulligan. Okay, this is a Striker as Lightning Power. Counter Energies, Electro Power. Oh, we're definitely gonna see some Lightning Power. I wonder what the Lightning Pokemon is. He's playing Shrine, so no Zero Aura GX in my opinion. There's gonna be another, maybe the Flying Flip. Okay, that is definitely Flying Flip. So what do we have here? First things first, we're gonna get a Nat, nat Ball, actually Nas Ball. We're gonna set up our, uh, ooh, we want, there's a lot of things we can set up. The first thing I recommend is getting your Ditto since I can evolve into anything we possibly want. We're gonna have to see, ooh, two, one Fairy Energy is priced. There's a Guzma price, so we have to take note of that. There's also, all the Diantas are in there. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we're just gonna grab our little ditto. Smack it down on the bench. We are also gonna rely on the Apricorn Maker. And we're gonna get some more Nest Balls up and rolling. Is that even clever? We want to tin out our hands. Maybe an Ultra Ball. This energy goes there. This one evolves. So definitely this Ultra Ball is going to work nicely. So we're gonna get two Nest Balls. That is what we're gonna do. Ta-da! With Ultra Ball, we can then uh, search our deck for the evolution that we possibly want. We're gonna get uh, Oranguru on board. Bam. We are also gonna get... He might make, make Oranguru stuck in the act. He can do that. Do we need another Schnubble? This guy has 70 HP. Schnubble is kinda neat. We can evolve. Blitzel is even better. Yeah, let's get this on board. 
you never know what happens. Uh, with Ultra Ball, we are definitely gonna get ourselves something. So let's get this on board. We have this. We might just thin out our hand here and get Macargo for the Ditto to Evolve. I think that's going to be the play for next turn. So we have the Ultra Ball in hand. We get rid of two cards, evolve into Gramble, attach on the turn, and that's going to be dead. That way we destroy this Tapu Koko. The bad news is that Tapu Koko Flying Flip will already dish out lots of damage. I don't know if he runs lots of elect electric powers. He needs two of them to land successfully. The good news is Dedo can also evolve into Gramble, so at least we have that. Hopefully he will not get not another electric power, otherwise we will be screwed over. Um, yeah, I think that the reasoning behind this is playing also the Zip Striker to thin out his hand and play all the electric powers at once. So, bam, that's a lot of damage on board. Uh, he dished out a total of 110 damage here, so that's crazy. Let's get Gramble up in this place. Give, we could give another energy here, but I, I wonder if we can get a Schnubble out of here. There's no Schnubble, but at least we have Macargo. That means we can just get this on board. I know what to do right here. Let's get Macargo evo evolution going on. We are going to use Ultra Ball, we're going to get rid of these two cards, and we're going to get a Schnubble as well. Because otherwise we run out of attackers. Now we can put something on top here to put in the discard pile and uh, get an, another one of our Pokemon set up. Let's get an energy onto the Schnubble. Smooth over, we can put... How many Ultra Balls do we still have left? Three. I think I'm just going to put an Ultra Ball on top. Use Instruct and then play the uh, Ultra Ball because we can then uh, get all the resources back with Dianta if our uh, Gramble gets knocked out. So the thing here is we definitely draw the Ultra Ball. Bam! Okay, Guzma is definitely a great card, but we're gonna put it in this card pal, unfortunately, and we are gonna grab ourselves Zup Striker. We could use the ability of Zup Striker, a very fun ability, but for now we just wanna tin out our hand and that's going to be perfectly fine. We have our setup, a second turn Zup Striker, second turn Macargo, or on Guru is on board, and a second Snubble, so I think we're kinda good, so we're gonna go with All Out, BAM! That is a KO. That's how the deck functions, so we have lots of options to work with. We have the heavy draw with, of course, the sprint. We have uh, the smooth over ability and instruct. We get everything we want with this deck whenever we want it. And he's just gonna strike with uh, the Tapu Koko's turn after turn, but they only dish out 20, and uh, he needs to do that six times in order to get... He still needs to do that five more times to get two KOs, or actually three more, four more times. After four uh, times, he gets a KO on the Macargo. After five times, he gets a KO on the Substriker. Oh, the Simeon is also in the house. Ew, hopefully he does not get out of Substrike, otherwise he always has draw power. And then a deck like this where you just want to dig for those elective powers, that's going to be very dangerous. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do we use the Sprint? It's very dangerous to use Sprint. I don't know if I'm the perfect uh, example of how to use the uh, Substrike here, but we're definitely, definitely gonna try our best. Okay, more stuff coming up. We have a Slugma. Ooh, that is hard to just... Uh... Oof. We are going to evolve. That is what we're gonna do here. We could also target something. Maybe tra targeting this. The Blitzel would be nice, but this guy has an energy. And I don't think that his, he's going to top deck. Maybe a supporter. That is also bad. I, def I definitely want to save my Guzmas. Definitely gonna knock this Tapu Koko out. So what we're gonna do here is use Smooth Over. We're gonna put, again, an Ultra Ball on top. What else do we possibly get? Palpad to just put in that Guzma because we don't have any Guzmas to work with anymore. But he's definitely gonna come with, he's gonna streamline attackers. We're just gonna get Ultra Ball. There's the only way to just thin out the hand using Instruct. Could have also used the Sprint ability, but I'm just gonna wait until there's no other way around it. So let's use Ultra Ball, get another Gramble on board, and that's gonna be fantastic. Bam! Second Gramble is ready to strike. And not, not gonna use the sprint. This is only if I draw into more supporters. Let's say I get a supporter from the prize cards and I draw a supporter, that's when I'm going to use sprint. All out! Bam! Another Coco goes down. I wonder if this is a good matchup even because uh, Gramble has a great matchup of course against G-axis. That is something we know for sure. Things like Blacephalon for example. But against spread decks, I don't know. Hopefully the opponent bricks here. He only has two cards in the hand. No zip strike out whatsoever. So if he doesn't get an energy or a supporter, we should be good. And that way we're just gonna streamline. We're just, oh, this is great. Just use Instruct, Fiery Flint, put him in the discard. He's gonna retreat. I'm gonna leave it at that. 
Okay, Shrine, that definitely something we don't want. Here, I'm just gonna play it differently. We're gonna use Smooth Over and put a card that we don't want in the discard pile. Card that we don't want. We're gonna use a Fiery Flint here. There's no uh, issue here. We could use Ultra Ball again, but we're gonna save on to those Ultra Balls. We're gonna put the Shrine on top. Shrine does not help in this matchup at all. So we're gonna draw it out and we're gonna get rid of all of our Shrines at once. Get instruct, bam! Two Shrines in the hand, let's get rid of them thanks to the Fiery Flint. And we can search our deck for a Fire Energy, but lucky for us, we don't have a Fire Energy, so our hand is empty. And bam, all out. The Gramble is going all out, giving smacks here, right in there. And uh, we got another card, and that is the Great Ball, which you can always play. That's the power of Great Ball. And with Nas Ball, if your bench is full, you cannot play it. So I always leave one bench space open for uh, the occasion that uh, if I had to have to use Nas Ball, if it's the only card in my hand, we can still do that. Lily getting cards, definitely gonna see that DCE, maybe Electa Power. With Electa Power, we are gonna see the discard, however, uh, because, or actually, no, 20 damage with Electa Power, that's 50 damage. We still survive, so he needs two Electa Powers. That means Cramble will still survive. Fantastic. Okay, he gets the uh, sprint, so Substrika, lots of Substrika in this video. I don't know if you already played tested with uh, the Substrika before, but Substrika is very powerful. Reminds us of Octillery, but a little bit more aggressive. If you like to play aggressively, this is definitely your playstyle. But right now I'm playing it casually, uh, since I don't want to discard anything. Next turn, I think I want to put Palpat on top here. Flying Flip, wham! Lots of uh, damage on the board. Oh boy, we get Dianta, which we cannot play. Ooh, that is not cool. Definitely not cool. We could use the uh, Ultra Ball uh, combo once again. That is definitely great. Smooth Over. Our Smooth Over might also see the discard soon, so... Um, mm, 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 mm. Dianta is also something we cannot use here. There's no Guzma whatsoever, but he's definitely gonna come with all the attackers regardless. Oh boy. The only logical solution. We can also put Mysterious Treasure on top, so we can use Great Ball. Yeah, I think that's a good solution because we want to hang on to those Ultra Balls for when the time is right. Or we could use Apricor Maker to thin out the deck. We can get an Ultra Ball once again. Thinning out the deck is good. Hmm. Or Mysterious Treasure. If we top deck, uh, we just want to thin out our supporters here because otherwise. Things will turn out nasty when we have multiple scores, although we have the sprint ability. We're gonna use the Instruct, and we're gonna get that Apricorn Maker, bam. So what do we want with the Apricorn Maker? We want Ultra Ball, Great Ball, I guess. Yeah, let's get two cards immediately. First things first, let's see if the Great Ball is successful. Schnabel, yeah, Schnabel is already up and rolling. So let's get this on board because our uh, Gramble will not survive much longer and now an ultra ball for nothing that's how it goes can we get something nah. otherwise we want, don't one shot this tab go go bam all out we do have an extra bench pokemon right now but he needs to take six prize cards maybe with the tapu lele magical swap combo he might get to him somewhere how many counter energies in his discard pal one that is very dangerous very dangerous indeed Gramble still survives, still needs two Electa Powers, but our Macargo will go down the turn after that. So we are prepared. Uh, Zubstrika will live one turn extra, and he has the Flying Flip again. Wow, with Choice Band, not that Choice Band matters. The bad thing is we have the, uh, the annoying Shrine of Punishment. He's retreating into... Okay, he's Guzmaing out. Oranguru? Okay, okay, I guess, I guess that's cool, I guess. We can no longer draw with this mood over, and he's going to leave our Oron Guru stuck in the active. That is a great strategy. And we don't have, we don't need to put Switch on top right now. Switch is going to get us out of this nasty situation. Okay, we have a Gramble. We cannot play the uh, Shrine now, which is very annoying. Ah. Uh, Field blower. We need like definitely gonna switch here. Smooth over. I want my. There's still nothing knocked out, so Dianta will not work. 
We might use Pal Tide on top and hopefully we draw <laughs> into it with an Aguzma play, could work. Or just get the switch manually and hopefully we can play out our hand. I think I'm gonna play it like this. I know it's risky. I definitely know it. So, uh, we only want one card because we want to play out all the other cards, right? Uh, sprint is for later, so now an Instruct coming along. Or Hoguro will actually uh, not survive next turn. Gramble over here. This guy will get knocked out, so... Yeah, let's promote this guy. Hmm, hmm. Promote the one that is almost gonna get knocked out. And now, hopefully we can play out the hand. This is risky, sprint. Come on, man. Okay, this is perfect. We can play out the hand. So let's get rid of the choice band. Let's play down the Apricorn Maker. Do we want the Great Ball in hand to thin out the deck? Great Ball is also something we can always play, but maybe it will increase our chances. No, I'm not gonna take it. And we're just gonna use Mysterious Treasure, get rid of the Oron Guru, get nothing in return. And here comes the All Out once again. Bam! Alright, we only need to take one more prize card or uh, Gramble is set up. We have Zubstrika and Gramble, uh, Great Ball is still in the deck, so that is something we can definitely play. So now you see how the Gramble deck was able to overcome lots of opponents. If you play against GXs, the Shrine will help, the Choice Band will help, so this deck is definitely legit. Check it out for yourself because look at it. You just, if, you ha if you have perfect knowledge on how the deck functions, it's just such a powerhouse. The opponent didn't even pick a single prize card, even though he has like lots of setup. He did use Flying Flip like a bazillion amount of times. If he uses it one more time, uh, the Makargo gets knocked out, the Oranguru gets knocked out, and Substrike is almost knocked out. We don't even need to play out our hand. If we just, if we get, grab a card, we're definitely gonna be able to play it. If it's a supporter, we can play Diana. If it's, uh, I think all the cards in the deck we can play right now, except for the Shrine, but we already got rid of all our Shrines, so we're good. This is GG. Guzma. Macargo, we're stuck? Are we stuck? Okay, we are stuck, so what I am going to do here is use the Instruct. Oh wow, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Oh boy, that was not the correct play. I actually wanted to put the Pal Pad on top and use Smooth Over, but we can still use Smooth Over, I guess. Actually, Pal Pad. Ugh. That was a nasty play of me. There's still lots of energies in the deck. Not that it matters too much. Oh yeah. Wow, that was kind of weird. We only need the Guzma to win the game, but he might have the magical swap, swap shenanigans. I definitely wanted to use Pelpat earlier, but now it's not even possible anymore. We want Guzma, we want Tate and Liza to swap, so that is going to be it. Let's put them in the deck. I'm definitely gonna draw them out soon. We might play Great Ball right now. Hey, do we want something? No. Actually, we might have wanted to draw a card here. So, at the late game, I'm actually fizzling out a little bit on what I'm doing. Definitely with a Great Ball, we, don't, we get something you don't want, and that's going to be game. Two Zip Strike Us. He wants Tap Pool later. He can still win this game. If he relies on Tapu Lele and the Magical Swap and the Counter Energy, he can still win the game. So that little misplay that I did definitely cost me the game. Definitely want to use like the Smooth Over, put Palpat on top, use Instruct, use Palpat, and then use the Sprint ability. Rescue Stretcher. What are we gonna see? But there are still six prize cards, so I wonder if he's gonna be able to get his. Lele? Mimikyu? I saw Fairy, so Lele is definitely in the deck. Buddy, Ultra Ball? He only has one card left in that. Is that a Cynthia? Come on, get out of your Lele. Definitely finish me. That would be like very okay. We do see Lele. Oh boy, is he gonna be able to take six prize cards though? <laughs> he passes the turn, okay. The only thing we need to do right here. Uh, is just use smooth over. I thought our Mark Argo would have seen the discard sooner or later, so let's use smooth over. Uh, 
Okay. We can use Pokemon Catcher, but we need to tin out the hand as well. Tin out the hand. Okay, you can see. So, we could have not tin out the hand, but he can see it regardless. So, anyhow, this was Zadox TCG here bringing you Gramble, the updated Gramble with Zip Striker. Definitely test it out for yourself. So solid. Nicholas, congrats to you for becoming second after Latin America Internationals. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to the like button, subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day, guys. Peace out.